Hello everybody, happy Friday to you guys. I wanted to take some time to um, do a quick demo of an extension that I helped out a studio build, uh, crim.digital, to um, help people with bubble design a little bit. And this extension is very cool. It gives you some um, very best practice type tools that you can use to iterate very quickly to help design your uh, your interface or your UI for your application. It's very um, unopinionated. It doesn't force you into any, um, I guess you could say design system. I guess it is kind of a design system, but it's not a component-based thing like I had with Atomic Fusion or blocks or anything like that, uh, like made with frames. It's, it's, it's definitely very unopinionated and lets you just kind of work from the ground up uh, using some different modules. And one of my favorite modules out of it is the uh, colors interface. So I'm going to step through and I'm going to uh, just do a portion of my new project, Superdesk, of adding dark mode to it with a slate color scheme. And just show you guys how this works. I'll probably just do the, the left nav bar and maybe the header just to show you kind of how this works. But you can also do uh, all these different color palettes that the extension gives you to be able to add a really good sleek design and not worry about the hex values and all that. It just kind of, it, it does that for you. It does that heavy lifting and thinking for you. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, let's check it out. Let's walk through it real quick. So to get the extension, you can just go search for interfaces in the Chrome Web Store uh, to get it uh, and download it, or not download it, but install it in your browser. And what that's going to do this is going to add a little button up here. You may have to go up to your bar and, and pin it and uh, to use it. And this is the extension right here. So there's a couple different things in here. This is the colors thing that I'm going to go through uh, a little bit with you. And then icons, they put out an icon set uh, called crisp icons. Really nice looking icons. Uh, we can kind of go in here and check them out. But some icons that you can use. Uh, this is actually to help you visually just uh, pick what you want or search for what you want. So we could say uh, toggle and it would come down. Uh, that's not really a toggle, but um, let's say filter. Um, so it, it, it lets you search for what you want and hover over and see what it is. And then you can install the plugin to use these icons in your project. Really nice, uh, really nice set of icons. Uh, toast. This is a plugin that I'm actually using in Superdesk. It's just a toast alert pop-up. I'll do a little demo here. You can see, see this nice, beautiful pop-up. Very customizable. Uh, I'm using it throughout the Superdesk um, application quite a bit. And then a playground they've got where they're gonna show off some different things, these really nice UI things that they're building. Uh, period periodically drop some stuff in for you guys to be able to um, see how it's built and things of that nature. You can open up the editor uh, and get into that and kind of check out how this particular dropdown was built. And I think some stuff will be added over time to this. But it's a very unopinionated framework here that we're using. Uh, Want to give you full control, but just assist you on getting that design kind of help that you need. It's This is nowhere, this is nothing like an Atomic Fusion or a Made With Frames. It's just some uh, design best practice things that you can use. And I particularly like the colors feature because it saves a ton of time and it makes it really easy to add like different uh, like uh, palettes or if you want to do a whole theme system in your app, you could. Today I'm just going to kind of step through that a little bit and go over uh, just adding uh, some dark mode to a couple of the components. Not everything in Superdesk. We'll probably just do the header, uh, then the sidebar here just to give you an idea for the sake of time of this video. So let's step through it. Once you download, uh, you can actually, let me show you. You can actually go to, you have a Twitter and a Discord. I would love to see people join in that Discord. It's just getting started. But here's a Twitter. Give it a follow. Um, Interfaces-ui.com is the website. You can go and read the documentation on some of this stuff. I know they're working on, on the documentation to add some more stuff, but there's some videos how to use it. Really cool stuff. Would love some feedback. Would love your guys' opinion. See what you think about this thing. Um, again, it's not my product. I just, I've, I, I like it. I've helped with it. I helped build the extension. And I just love what these guys are doing over there. So I just wanted to do a quick video on all this and uh, let you guys give it a try. So let's check out colors. 
colors. What is this? Beautiful colors with auto dark mode. So what they're providing here is basically a palette for you to use that has been well thought out and just it's just awesome. And you can go through these colors and pick out palettes for your application and use this system to maintain a consistent color scheme in your app. For me, I, I love design. I'm, I'm okay. I'm pretty good at design, but there's people that are far superior than me that um, have studied design and, and know it at a whole different level. And I struggle staying within a color palette. Um, I tend to veer off to too many different hex values. Things just get a little out of control. So I want to start leveraging uh, interfaces color system so I, I can hold myself to the palette. So what this does is I'm going to do a dark mode with the slate color palette here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to click on this color palette and they give you some helper text here and they go through the whole scale. And if I was to change to light mode, you'll see the scale for light mode. So I'm going to go back to the dark mode. And what this is really cool is you can actually copy each one of these hex values and paste them right into your editor and your color values. Um, we're not going to do that. We're going to actually copy this entire slate theme. And this is an option set that you can just copy and paste right into your option sets and leverage this palette throughout your entire interface. So, but you can just take one at a time if you'd like to do that. I tend to leave this open. You're going to want to leave this open to know what um, <clears throat> what values you're going to want to use for different things in your app. You'll use this helper text. So, you know, here's the, here's the, these are steps one through 12. So these, you know, step one, uh, it's this darkest color in the slit, in the, in the color palette. And this is going to be used for the background. Step two, the next step up, subtle background. And then you can read through these, you know, UI element background, uh, the borders, subtle borders, separators, text. These are the things you're going to want to stick to to maintain that consistent flow of your application's UI. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over to my option sets. And I already put it in here because I was playing around with it earlier, but I'll delete that. And what we're going to do is I, I know that I want to do dark mode with Slate. So what I'm going to do is copy this Slate theme. You can see that right here. Slate theme option set copied. Come over here, right click on one of these, paste. Boom. You have the Slate uh, theme now in your uh, application that you can use. You don't have to think about these hex values or anything. They're already stored for you. So when you're in light mode, you're going to use these hex values. Let me close this real quick. When you're in dark mode, you're going to use these hex values to get the dark mode uh, uh, palette. So let me step you through how this works. We're going to go back to the design mode and let's say, okay, I'm ready to turn this uh, side navigation bar to be able to use, uh, to be able to toggle into a dark mode. And I've already set up, let me refresh that, I've already set up a little toggle here. here. I'm not going to get into that. It's just simple workflow to toggle between the states. And what I'm using is, since this is an authenticated app, I'm using uh, just a Boolean value on the user. So if I go to users and <clears throat> I've got just a dark mode, yes, no value here. So on the user, dark mode, yes or no. Are we in dark mode, yes or no? Now, if this is an authenticated app, there's a different way to work this. And I believe the video is on their website on how to do this. If this is just a full public facing web app, there's no login or authentication, um, like a blog or something, and you need to be able to leverage this without, uh, without it being an authenticated user. But since my app is authenticated, I just have that dark mode set on the user. So let's go back to design. And the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to set a conditional. And you can also use these, uh, you can use the color palette for the default color as well. But I'm just gonna, just to, just to make this video easy, I'm just gonna leave what I've already set and I'm gonna go to the conditionals and I'm gonna say, okay, when current user dark mode is yes, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, 
Oops, what do I do here? I am going to do background color because I'm, I'm going to set the background. And once you got some of these set, you can actually just copy and paste these conditionals. I'm going to do background color. And I'm going to do insert dynamic data. I'm going to go to that option set that I just copied and pasted from interfaces. And I'm going to browse to the theme slate that we just pasted in. And I'm going to choose the dark mode option. And then what I'm going to do is to get which value I want to use, I'm going to say, well, this is a background. So I'm going to use this step one. This is step one app background, this color. So step one, easy as that, easy as pie. So I'm going to copy that. And that's actually in a group off of the canvas. I'm actually going to set this on the back of my canvas too. Simple as pie. So now if we go look at this and I toggle, we should see this cut over to a dark mode. See that? Simple as pie. So now what I got to do is on these groups, I need to set that same conditional on these. Same conditional. And I could get into the hover values and things of that nature. Um, but for sake of time, again, I'm not going to go through every little thing to get this proper. Um, let's just get this set right. Refresh that. Let's toggle into dark mode. And look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Color hex values set for a nice slate theme. Uh, let's go do the header real quick. Let's go over to my header, top nav header. And let's do the same thing. We want to paste that value in. We're using step one over here for the background. Now I've got text here because when this goes dark mode, I'm going to want this text to be lighter. So I'm going to paste that in here, but I'm going to have to set it as font color. And if I go over here to the slate dark, I want to see what to use for font. So it says UI element border and focus, solid low contrast. I think I want to do low contrast tech text on this, maybe high contrast. Let's start with step 11. So what we'll do is we'll just add that dynamic value in, um, get an option. We want the dark mode from the theme slate, and then we want to do step 11. And that should change my dark text up here. See how that's kind of lighter now? So if I toggle between this, see that? Easy as pie to set a dark mode theme on this. And you can do any color theme you want, orange, it, it doesn't matter. Most people tend to stick into the, the uh, use these uh, colors here, but. Um, okay, so next thing, so there's a border. If you notice here, there's a border that's still too, too white, too bright. So we need to do a border on that. So let's, let's go ahead and paste this in here and let's do, let's delete that and let's do the border color. So border color bottom. And what do I want to use here? I want to use, let's see, right here, UI element border and focus. So step seven. So let's do insert, get an option, uh, theme slate, dark, step seven. There you go. So now when we refresh, that should be a little bit lighter and subtle. See how that's subtle now? And you can do this for any hover effects. That's as far as I'm going to go right now. Um, but I could just deck out my entire app for for um, dark mode that that simple. And once you have these conditionals set, you copy and paste them and you can do it really fast. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, oh, don't worry about dark mode when you're launching. But if you can do things really fast and give the, the user a night mode or dark mode experience, I think that's pretty cool. So that's that's kind of uh, the colors. Um, component of interfaces. Um, I'll probably do another video using this toast uh, pop-up. I put some stuff out there earlier, but you got to go check out this toast uh, plugin. It's really cool. You, you can customize the crap out of it and it just makes showing notifications very seamless in your app. So when this happens, let's say, you know, add a listing. I added a listing and you want to notify the user that that listing got added and get that nice little pop-up at the bottom. That's what, what this is for. So hope you guys like this quick video on interfaces. I, I think they're going to be doing some more cool stuff with this and adding more value to, to this. Um, but yeah, these guys really know design. Um, so it's something I plan on using in probably most of my projects. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day.